The last part of the water stream we're going to do is just that larger spray that happens outside of it. So we have that really tight circle of water, uh, of actual water stream and the spray, and then we're going to have that one that just kind of billows out from it. So with that one in mind, let's go ahead and go to our hierarchy and create. We'll go to our particle system. And let's go ahead and just rename this one. We'll just say spray, and we'll just do, we'll call it spray wide. And actually, we could call the inside one. We could say spray core. That way, we have kind of a difference between the two. All right, for the spray wide, let's set the position at 0, 0, 0. Start it off at the base right there. And then we need to put a material assigned to it. So let's go over to our smoke white. We'll go ahead and use that one again. And we'll place it on the material option right there. The uh, the option for the render mode, we're going to keep with billboard for now. We just actually want it, we don't really care about it being stretched as it goes. We just want to feel like it goes from a small point and billows outward and kind of fades off real nice. So let's go ahead and go up to our duration. We'll set the duration set to 1. Just kind of a default that I usually put it to. Um, unless you're doing animations or something uh, specific with it. The uh, the start lifetime for this one, I'm just going to change the value to a 2 constant. And we'll go for about a 1 second to 1.5 seconds. I remember our other um, our other options, we had a 1, 5 to 2. And we had a 1, 2 to 1, 5. So if you get this one and you feel like it's lasting too long, you could even drop it a little bit lower, maybe like a 0.75, and uh, and feel like it just kind of leaves a little bit quicker. We could also change the color over lifetime and have it disappear a little bit faster that way too. The uh, start speed, um, let's go ahead and just put in a single value for this one. I'm going to put in about 60 on this, and uh, we'll kind of play with it and see how, how it goes after that point. Uh, the start size, let's go ahead and make a two constant value out of it. The start size, um, at the moment we've been putting things um, kind of big to match for how the scene's been going. So like right now, we really want it to go big about middle ways in here. So we'll constrain it to a little bit smaller here and then have it billow out when it comes through it. Um, on the start rotation, same thing like we've done before with the other ones. We'll go ahead and do a 2 constant and uh, just do a 0 to 360. And then for the start color, let's go ahead and take our start color and actually just drop it all the way down. Um, I might take it a little bit up. I'm going to go for about a 4 to a 5 on the RGBA, uh, or at least on the RGB values. All right. Once you have that one, so same like we've done the others, we'll go ahead and keep with a gravity is set to 1 on it. I'm going to keep with the 1000 on the max particles, but if you're trying to optimize later, you may find that you want to drop it uh, down a little bit more. The rate, we'll take it to about 20. Let's just kind of double the size of it here and see. All right. So same thing like we've done before, we need to go ahead and take our, uh, our shape cone, and uh, let's go ahead and just close this up real quick. We'll go for about a 2.5. We may go for a little bit wider of an angle, but let's get our radius set first. We'll do a, um, a point 0.15, point 0.1. There we go. So yeah, let's take our angle, make it go out a little bit farther. Let's try for a 3 on this one. So it gets to the top. You know, we could even go a little bit further here. Let's try for about 4. There we go. So what we're trying to do is just get it so that we do have a little bit more of an openness to it when it gets up there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close my shapes to hide that part of it. All right, so that's looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and do our um, limit velocity over lifetime. So again, remember, this is just going to change how it works. So the moment I turn it on, remember, it's just going to all pile up down there. Um, what we want to do is add some speed to it. So we'll add, the other one we added was about 50 for speed. We'll add about 50 on this one for the speed. And then the dampen, we'll have it set to that one. Um, and kind of like we've looked at before, uh, if you wanted to lower it, then you can have that build up right there and then go across. We want to do our color over lifetime. So the color over lifetime, the one that we're currently trying to look at, let's go ahead and open this one up. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and go from a black point right here. Um, so we'll click on the alpha for that and drag it down. And then right next to it, I, I just want it to go from nothing and then actually start to billow outwards. 
So we'll go ahead and ramp up the uh, the gradient right there. There we go. We may have to kind of adjust this a little bit for distance here. Um, I'm currently at. We'll go ahead and say I'm currently at uh, about eight, and we'll go for a 225 on here. And then over on the right hand side, let's go ahead and drag the alpha down to zero. And then let's go ahead and put in one more point though. We'll put in a point right about halfway. Let's go ahead and type in 50 on the percentage for it. And then let's go ahead and increase the alpha on this one. So we want to have that nice billowing smoke right at the beginning. But then as it goes up, it fades away. But you still have that really strong sense of seeing it right there. All right. And then just to double check, let me take the color down. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. Looks good. We could actually go kind of dark with it there just to add a, uh, a darker tint to it here. And then, so mine's going to be about 17 on this one right here. All right. Go ahead and close this one out. It's going to be close to it, right? And what we could do, let's try that one. Let's just double check. I may want to add a little bit more color to it right about here. Let's actually add a little bit more. Um, the uh, the spray, I'm seeing it, but I'm not seeing it clear enough right here. So let's go ahead and change this up just a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and add, let's see. Yeah, um, let's go ahead and I'm actually going to delete this top one. Um, let's try to make this a little bit different. I'm still not getting the exact effect that I'm going for here. Uh, let's start on this one. Let's actually start with this a little bit higher. Yeah, somewhere around there. And then let's actually make this one up higher too. And then we'll adjust the color to work within it. All right. So let's take it to there. Let's add a color and increase the color brightness right here. And then let's increase the color brightness on this one. Closer to a uh, gray range right there. All right. Uh, let's kind of pull that one in there. OK. So trying to get in there, um, we're just trying to make sure that we get the uh, kind of the full fill of that water. And it's just kind of bouncing around back and forth here. Um, let me make sure I kind of get you a good value. All right. Somewhere around there, all the way to there. OK. So if we go for this one, what we're basically looking at on it, let's make sure we have this one set all the way up. Make, and make sure this looks good up here. There we go. So it's a little bit more wispy, which is good. Um, still kind of coming out a little thick right here, but we'll fix that with our uh, size over velocity, or size over life t uh, lifetime. Let me go back to the color here for you. All right. So we had a little bit of change up. Um, we started with one, but we're kind of ending with a different one. We'll do white on the tops, and then we'll actually just do the black on the ends, and then just a little ways in. I'm going about seven four. We could say eight, just to keep a good number on it. And then, uh, oh. and then for the color, white to gray. All right. So there we go. We've got our color over lifetime. Let's go ahead and drop down to our size over lifetime here. And again. Um, to give us a little bit more space on the size over lifetime, let's open up our editor. Move this to the side so we can see it. There we go. Uh, for this one, what we currently had was the spray cone. I'm going to turn that one off and move our piece down here. Our size over lifetime on this one, we'll do this similar in that we'll do a uh, random between two constants. And uh, actually, two constants will do two curves. And then for the size of it, we want it to really billow outwards. So we'll go for about a four. Now it's really kind of coming out now. It feels a, a lot more like that wider spray that comes from a water hose or something. 
Um, let's take our initial size though, like we did with the other one. We'll take it down to about that 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.6 range. I'll take the lowest part of our random to about a 0.3. And then let's set the, uh, the higher value up. We want to make sure that it stays thick on here. So we'll take this probably to about a 2, somewhere around a 2 range. And then kind of add that same similar curve to how we had with the other one. So we're going to go from a small, and then it's going to come out and wisp out like that. Very nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this one, go back into here. So now we're looking at a, uh, a nice thing of water spraying out with two layers, one small little spray and one wider spray coming out from it. All right. And that should kind of finish off the water spray. Uh, you can again, you can kind of play with how it works and how it reacts to the scene, adding that collider um, like we did with the uh, first one, so that you can actually hit it against other objects. I'm going to go ahead and put the position at zero, and then we'll just take our water stream and drag it over to the water spray folder, and that will finish us off on our water stream and should give you all the extra parts and pieces. You could, if you've done the fire, you could do similar to the fire where you add a few extra little water pieces that spray shorter. And uh, if, for instance, if you were holding your finger over a water hose, you might have some of those smaller pieces that fall. You could add stuff like that to it as well and have a little bit more of a, a glisten to it when it's going across. All right, so there you go.